And how long have you been a superhero? Me? Well, I guess I've always been a superhero. <clears throat> I don't know much else. Arthur, what's the tick really like? The tick? He's great. He's a little hard to work with sometimes, but he's stronger than anybody. Listen, ours is an epic tale. True friendship, heart-stopping danger, men and women in tights, making the rules and breaking them. We are not two men. We are ten men. Listen! It all started in Reno. Every year, heroes flock to the National Super Institute to compete for the best cities to protect from crime. Ladies and gentlemen, the Blowfish Avenger. Blowfish gets New Rochelle. Way to go, Blow. Man, that man gets nothing. One year, I decided to compete. Hello, Reno! I am the Tick! I am mighty! Now you may ask, but how does one prove one's mightiness? To this I reply, by surviving the deadliest engine of destruction 1974 had to offer! Ladies and gentlemen, you may want to shield yourselves with your dessert menus. I might be dangerous! Well, this is disappointing. And the rest is history. Destiny. Destiny's powerful hand has made the bed of my future. And it's up to me to lie in it. I am destined to be a superhero. To right wrongs and pound two-fisted justice into the hearts of evildoers everywhere. You don't fight destiny, no sir! And you don't eat crackers in the bed of your future, or you get all... Scratchy. Hey, I'm narrating here. <coughs> They've assigned me a city. My mission? To free it from the ravages of evil and super villainy. So its citizens may sleep easy. Secure in the knowledge that they are protected. The city. My the city. It cries to me of its need. <coughs> Excuse me. Arthur? Uh, yes, Mr. Wiederspan? Um, Arthur, I'm afraid the, uh, the firm feels that it's time to allow you the opportunity to pursue other avenues of employment. I'm fired? Is there a problem with my work? Oh, no, Arthur, no, it's, it's, it's... It's that stupid bunny outfit! Oh, no, not bunny, sir. Moth. <laughs> it's my moth suit. Actually, it's a flying suit. The wings are in my briefcase. Arthur, you're making the other accountants nervous. We all find this kind of rampant individuality very disturbing. 
I know you think I'm crazy, Mr. Wheaterspan, but I'm not. It's just... Ever since I found this suit, I've felt strange new needs. Urges. I can't live this life a moment longer. Somewhere out there, a destiny of adventure and excitement waits for me. Accounting is a fine skill to fall back on, but the road less traveled, much less traveled. The moth suit and wings road is a lot more exciting than taxes. City, it is I, the Tick, your destined defender. Show me where it hurts. Tall. <laughs> oh, there's crime here. I can smell it. I can taste it. So shall I begin my first patrol of the city with one giant leap. Soon they will know me. Soon they will need me. Well, great. Now I'm unemployed. How am I going to find adventure and excitement when I can't even cover my expenses? Aha! I'll bounce off that flagpole and flip to safety. Aha! I'll bounce off that broad, flat surface. If I don't eat out and reverse my underwear to get an extra day. Or maybe not. Gravity is a harsh mistress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm a superhero. I'm nigh invulnerable. I'm built for this kind of thing. Nice outfit. A superhero? Ugh. Known to evildoers everywhere as the Tick. I'm Arthur, known to taxpayers everywhere as uh, the accountant. <laughs> I'm looking for adventure. Hmm. Come have lunch with me, Arthur. Adventure will follow. Why would they send a superhero of my caliber to a place like this? Oh, I'm not sure this city even needs a champion. So, you're a superhero, huh? And what sort of costume is that supposed to be? Costume? No costume, friend. I am simply... The Tick. Well, you can't be... The Tick. Ticks are arachnids. They got eight legs. How do you know I don't? Ticks suck blood. Do you suck blood? Uh, yeah, I suck blood all the time. Yeah, right. Look, I got a straw right here, pal. You want a demonstration? Uh, no, 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 thanks, no. An explosion. Come, Arthur. Evil is afoot. Uh, afoot? <laughs> That's funny. I have only seconds to shed my everyday disguise. This looks like a job for... There's somebody in here. Occupied. This looks like a job for... The Cape Chameleon! Guns. This is definitely illegal. Oh! Arthur, do you fly? My wings are in my briefcase. Back at the diner. I'll go get them. No time, chum! I think I'll just lie down here for a second. <sighs> You face the sworn protector of this fair city. You face the tick. Speak up. I can't understand a word you're saying through those stupid masks. Enunciate. Can't do plan. Desk. Are we dead yet? Far from it, Arthur. We have them on the run. <laughs> Onward! <laughs> hmm. 
Hey, cool. They got a blimp. That was the scene today at the Reeve Droid Bank as the mysterious gang known as the Idea Men struck again, continuing their terrible crime wave. It was the sixth time in as many days that the baffling criminals have descended from the sky to literally lift the city's most valued assets. But today, their nefarious plot was thwarted by an heroic blue stranger. Hey, cool. They got a blimp. Our modest blue benefactor exited the scene without comment. The idea men menace is far from over, says Mayor Blank. In fact, we have reason to believe that these criminals have been merely practicing for a much larger caper. We'll have more on this story as it develops. Meanwhile, on a lighter note, clowns. <laughs> I always have trouble with these keys. Well, this is my place. What do you think? It's great! It looks just like an apartment. Where's your secret headquarters trigger? Is this it? Uh, no, wait! You know, the trigger. Like a statue or a candlestick that you twist and then everything flips over and all your crime-busting equipment pops out? This is it, right? Ah, uh, no! What does your sofa turn into? Your sonar radar perimeter defense unit? No! It turns into a bed. Please, this is just an apartment. It is? Yes, yes! Oh. Well, this place is gonna take a lot of work if it's gonna be our superhero headquarters. No! No. Oh, I don't know. I, I just don't know if I'm ready for this. Too much excitement, too much adventure. I think I'm going crazy. You're not going crazy, Arthur. You're going sane in a crazy world. Some people are destined for greater things. Arthur, you are one of those people. You can't hide from it. You've got to hug it. Hug your destiny, Arthur! Hug it. Uh-huh. Well, I, I think I'll just sleep on it, okay? That's fine, my small friend. You rest up, and I will monitor the culture. Taste me! That's Drama Flakes Tasty Challenge. Attractive, successful people love Drama Flakes. Guaranteed to make your life more dramatic and eventful with every golden spoonful. Just listen to them. Get an earful. Good evening. This is Sally Vacuum with a special report. I'm here at the city hydroelectric plant. Apparently, the notorious idea men have taken the city dam hostage. Although, we can't understand a word they're saying. What? I'm sorry, we, we didn't get that. Good heavens! They're going to flood the city! Arthur, get up! The city calls upon her steadfast protectors! What? This looks like a job for Bipolar Bear! But I just can't seem to get out of bed this month. This looks like a job for Captain Lemming! Come on, Spine, work with me! Uh, excuse me, miss. I've got to change my outfit. This looks like a job for the human bullet! Fire me, boy! Get those wings on, Arthur. Uh, this isn't such a good idea. The wings, put them on. I'm not so good at this. You'll get better. I've never flown before. Not a problem. No, 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 no. Change my mind, wanna come down. It's your destiny, Arthur. Hug it! I'm very frightened. No, Arthur, you're very flying. You see, no more doubting yourself. Now, on to the death. We have work to do. We're all out of roofs. What happens now? Wow. Wow. All out of roofs, eh? Uh, yeah. Guess so. Deflator Mouse. I should have known you'd be out tonight. Well, if it isn't American-made, the world's most patriotic domestic. This looks like a job for Deflator Mouse, not some mop squeezer. Why don't you go scrub out a toilet somewhere? Why don't you go smell up some cave? People! People! There's a dam about to blow up! 
We should team up and use all our resources to battle this evil. Team, team up? I'm not going to team up with her. There's that fear of commitment again. Oh, listen to Miss Intimacy here. Jerk. Jingoist. Rabbit goon. Clean freak. Nerf. Ice cream. Some people just shouldn't be in this business. Sleep at night. You are la, so... La, 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 la. To the dam! But how? We'll figure it out. You are so incredibly <laughs> immature. Hey, sticks and stones, baby. Amateurs. None of them really know how to handle evil. This looks like a job. A big shot. <laughs> The mayor is just now arriving, and it looks like he's brought the ransom money. Mayor Blank, are you actually going to give in to the idea men's criminal demands? Well, Sally, let me put it this way. How well can you swim? <laughs> but seriously, we have no choice. They have our dam, and no force on Earth can stop them now. Uh, let's see, 15% of... Uh... Arthur! Onward! Oh, just keep the change. <laughs> Arthur! Seconds from now, the mayor will hand over a briefcase containing 10 million municipal dollars, the biggest ransom ever paid in the city's history. Idea man, what's the big idea? Well, we thought we'd steal a lot of money, and then we'd be rich, and we wouldn't have to work anymore. You can't! Now turn off your bomb! Uh, we can't. Once it's activated, it can't be shut off. What are you doing? Shh. I'm defusing it. Guns and superheroes don't mix. Seek professional help. My goodness, I'm a walking time bomb. Get out of my way! Why didn't you love me, Mom? <laughs> I guess we save the city. For the moment, yes, my friend. But with luck, our future holds still more dire threats, more perilous plots. Wherever villainy rears its great big head, wherever evil sets its giant ill-smelling foot, you will find the tick. Oh, and, and Arthur, his, uh, a sidekick. Good show. And yes, my sidekick Arthur, certainly a force to be reckoned with. And so, may evil beware, and may good dress warmly and eat plenty of fresh vegetables. I'm okay.